I'm Richard Howard. I'm an RMT branch secretary from Portsmouth. I live on the Isle of Wight, and this is where we are with Vesta's Wind Turbine Factory in Newport. Uh, the factory is under threat of closure. It's due to close at the end of the month here. Um, we're here to support the group of workers that have occupied the factory. If you look around now, you'll see the guys here. This is the night shift. We're all staying here. We're waving our friends up there, keeping them happy. And we're hoping to make sure that this factory stays open. How long has this been going on for now? Uh, the factory was occupied on Monday evening at around 7 o'clock. Uh, we just passed the 48 hour anniversary a couple of hours ago. The guys in there are going to stay there until they get what they want. And we're going to stay here supporting them until they get what they want. And what we want is the factory to be nationalised and produce wind turbines for manufacturing green energy in this country. Well, that's the news from the Isle of Wight, as brought to us by Vision TV. Workers fighting senseless layoffs is really something to be excited about. Here's what's not so real to be excited about. Stocks open higher after jobless claims report. It says a lot about our society when 550,000 Americans file new unemployment claims, as they did this month, and traders celebrate. The AP report on the tradings continue that the market's gains are somewhat muted because of sluggish sales. Are our troubles over? The Obama team are right. We're seeing the results of that 787 billion fiscal stimulus. Fewer people are losing their jobs each month and the economy's shrinking has shrunk. But we're not out of the woods, not yet. Remember those sluggish consumer sales? Get used to them. The US consumer market didn't just temporarily dry up in the summer. Over several decades of misguided economic and industrial policy, it was dredged. From an economy based on workers with wages buying things, we became one based on workers in trouble and speculators getting rich trading their debt. Divert investment from manufacturing to gambling paper long enough, and this is where you end up. Suppressing wages, shutting plants, expanding credit, and inflating assets. It's a great way to blow up a bubble, but that bubble is burst, and now Main Street America is jobless and broke. It's not just America. Workers around the globe are taking matters into their own hands and putting their bodies on the line to stop the madness. From England there to Italy and South Korea, people are occupying their plants to stop them from closing. That's something that shouldn't be muted. The only thing that's going to save most people and most economies is living wages and productive work. That's all we have time for today. You'll find everything you've seen on this show at our website, grittv.org. There's a place to comment on every story. While you're there, join our mailing list so we can let you know what's coming up and subscribe to our video or audio podcast. We also have a Twitter feed. Just follow Grit TV or me on Twitter. And please become a supporter. We are broadcasting commercial free across the United States on Free Speech TV, Dish Network, Channel 9415, and you can ask for us on your local cable or public television station. Don't forget to tell your friends about our program. Thanks for watching.